Hello, beautiful people. Does something look different about me? Is there something that looks a little bit different? Can you tell? Can you tell what it is? Now the most obvious answer might be my hair, but don't worry, I've worn this wig before. What's new is that I might be looking a little clearer. The visuals might be looking a, less, a little less iPhone-y, and that's because your girl got a camera. Yes, it was Christmas time and I decided to invest, invest, invest in myself. I finally decided I would get a camera, you know, for my YouTube channel and also for my business so that my pictures can look a little bit more crisp and clear on my website. Today is gonna be a really cool video, I think. I've been seeing a lot of these ranking videos going out generally and so I thought, why not rank some of my crochet pieces? But to narrow in the focus, I'm focusing on ranking pieces that I did two plus years ago. Also, before we get into it, a bit of a plug, I am wearing the crown card again. It's not available to shop on my website yet, but it will be because I'm gonna bring these back. I wear this literally all the time. It's so comfy still and so cozy. It's been over a year since I've made this and you know, it, it's just one of those staples. But anyway, getting to the video. Let's go ahead and take a look at our ranking. At the very top, we have iconic, which is one of my favorite words coined by my girl Z-Way. Which, I mean, it's pretty obvious what this one means. Even to this day, even though it's an older piece, I still think it's a bop. I think it's, you know, unique or just like out there. And so that's the iconic. Still a serve, it's not quite iconic, but it's still good. Like it's still really good, you know what I mean? And it's still something I would wear. Was it worth it though? Okay, this ranking is a little bit interesting and I didn't know whether to put this below than what I have next or not, but this is like, these are pieces that are good. In fact, some of them might even be popular, but it wasn't worth all of that extra stress and strenuous effort to create because you know, some of these crochet pieces, okay, Crochet is already a slow process, but some of these really take the kicker for doing the absolute most. And I really have to sit and question whether this is something that is actually worth doing. So that's what that category is. Now, below we have pasta without the sauce. And these are pieces that, you know, uh, maybe they're okay, but they're lacking flavor. It's like, how are you gonna make spaghetti, but you ain't gonna add none of the marinara sauce. You ain't gonna add none of the spaghetti sauce. That defeats the dish. You just ruin the whole dish. You know what I mean? So pasta without the sauce is a bit plain Jane for me, okay? And then finally we have, I should have quit. Which these are just pieces that you know, I'm embarrassed about making, or I'm just like, thank goodness we improved because that just was, not it. We are gonna start with this piece here. It's a, a, a panda backpack. It's cute. I actually made this as a commission. Like I didn't think, oh, make a panda bag. Yeah, no, this was back in high school and someone was like, hey, I wanna buy a panda bag. Can you make this for me? And my, you know, unexperienced self was like, yeah, I'll make it, I'll sell it to you. I made it came back, he didn't want it no more. So what am I gonna rate it? Part of me is thinking, was it worth it though? Because I did make it as a commission and like, I think that's where it goes. Like I made this as a, as a commission and now it's just unused. But then also I could put it in I should have quit because why I'm over here making orders and ain't nobody paying for it. <sighs> now this one, this one, is a set that I made um, back in the day. It was one of my first sets and it was also uh, either my first or second time making a pair of shorts. To this day, my sister, who's pictured here, still wears the top. So, I mean, I feel like that has to count for something, but the pants, like if you can see it, it's, it's incredibly baggy. It just, it's not given what it's supposed to give. It's not, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. I'm, I'm, I'm just not pleased by it. I'm gonna have to put it in was it worth it though? Because it wasn't. This one, now this one I already know exactly where I'm putting this. This is going in pasta without the sauce. Now the reason it's going here is because it was like a romper set. My first time making a romper, it had potential. But what I really messed up 
was one, this pose, you can barely see the romper. But two is the fact that what colors was I choosing? Gray and white? Why would I do that color combo? Like, it's so funny looking at my styles today because I like to use a lot brighter and more colorful yarns. And I feel like literally just by changing the colors or by changing maybe even the texture, that that would have improved it so much. But it just, it looks so stale. It looks so flavorless. And so for that reason, I'm gonna have to put it in pasta without the sauce. Now this next one is honestly, I mean, I look at it and I am still proud of it to this day. Yeah, I'm putting this in still a serve. Still a serve. You know, one of the drawbacks is I didn't use the right yarn. I used too thick of a yarn. It made it a little less wearable, but aesthetically, just by looking at it, I think it's really cute. Was it a good angle that we took the photo from? No. Okay, I get it. I'm putting this in I should have quit. Yeah, I should have quit. And the reason I'm putting it there is because I really messed up on just doing a plain top. You know, if you take a look at this picture, I'm really feeling myself. I should not have been feeling myself that hard. I really shouldn't have been feeling myself that hard because first of all, my hair. Oh, we love improvement. But second of all, that top just was not it. And the fact, and I think the fact that I can make a basic top and then after I take this picture, I don't wear it again, like not even once. You know, I just think the unusability of it is like, what were you doing? This one, I already know I'm putting it. Still a serve, still a serve. It was a hat and scarf combo. I have no idea where it is today, but if I knew where it was, I would still be wearing it. Now this next one is like, I'm a bit embarrassed, but like, you know, I loved my confidence. I was very proud of myself because, you know, at this point I wasn't making a lot of sets. I wasn't making a lot of clothes. And I remember on my Instagram stories back before I had my business account on my personal Instagram, I was over here posing and doing like the actual too much the most. Honestly, it's embarrassing. I probably shouldn't be put out here for the internet, but I'm gonna show y'all. Okay, the tally's in. You guys wanted to see it on, so I'm gonna show it to you, okay? We got this top. We have this top. Yes, it is looking quite fashion. And then we have this nice skirt, you know, you poke your booty out, you get a little something, something there. I feel like there's a category missing. Let me add another category. So I can place this because I just feel like it doesn't belong in any of these because it's not iconic. I still would not wear it. It wasn't a project that took a lot of effort. I don't think it's lacking flavor. I had a lot of flavor going on with it. Um, but it doesn't make me think that I should have quit either. Okay, so you'll see I did a little bit of rearranging, just a little bit. I added the most improved award, which is right above I should have quit. And so most improved is like, um, I got somewhere. You know, like it was, it was, uh, it was a big project that I didn't fully execute, but the fact that I tried, I can be proud of. I just rearranged and I pulled the set with my sister. I took that from, was it worth it though? And I took it down to the most improved award. So now we're moving into 2020. So 2020 is when I started my crochet Instagram account and I started sharing my work. This piece, it's a red lace-up bralette and it has just like a beige colored bucket hat. With the bralette, I followed a tutorial, you know, and I feel like I have to remove points for projects where it was a tutorial and not something that I just made myself. So I think in this case, I'm going to have to put it in pasta without the sauce. A good project, a good starter project, but just plain Jane, just plain. Now this one is also a bralette and bucket hat combo. The bralette was a tutorial, but you know, I did a little extra by adding like the little rose petals that were in the tutorial that were on the bralette. I added it to the hat. Removing points for the fact that the brim of the bucket hat is just like too short for me. I don't know why I made the brim so short. I must have run out of yarn. Maybe I was lazy or maybe I thought I was doing something. I really don't know. I'm gonna give it a still a serve because 
while I might not wear it, I feel like people would wear it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that bralette style was very popular and I have to give myself points for the coordination. The fact that I match the bucket hat and the bralette, but then also I have shorts that have rose petals on it. I have to give that to myself. I do. I do. Now this next one is a checkered wrap top and I think it's really cute. I think it's definitely one of my more popular ones when I first came out with it. However, I didn't come up with the pattern. It also took a lot of effort. So was it worth me making it? This might be contrary to popular belief, but I'm gonna have to put it in the was it worth it though. Okay, this next one, I was a three-piecer. I was doing the absolute most. I made an outfit for m myself and both of my sisters. So, fire. That was the mode I was going for. Fire, if you not if you couldn't tell by the yellow, orange, and red tones. Like, I think with all of these, they came out really good when I first did it. But with the yarn that I used, I think I used, like, I Love This Cotton Yarn from Hobby Lobby. I can't remember specifically. Uh, but with the yarn I used, it's true stretched out a lot, lost shape with the red pants specifically, like her, the crotch area was like low, like it was hanging, but it's still iconic. This is iconic, you know, it, it's, it's, I would say it was the pictures that really put me on the map. This girl was posting bralettes and bucket hats and all of these basic stuff, but then you saw this picture and you're like, oh, okay, she has a lot more to offer. I was making pieces for some people other people that I wasn't there to measure you know and so I wanted to do something for you know Black Lives Matter remember it's 2020 a lot of the protests were going on but I think you know for the culture for the vibes I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a still a serve just for the pure fact that the people I sent it to still wear it so that has to count for something oh my goodness oh my goodness y'all are gonna love this piece it's a rainbow a uh, cropped sweater and bell bottom pants. Bell bottoms. Y'all, when I look back at this project, I'm still so proud of it. Like I I feel like this is definitely one of my most iconic pieces that I've made. Y'all know where this is going. All right, so this next one I made for a uh customer they showed me this picture of this daisy crop top and short set that they wanted and I remember looking at that picture and I was like I've never done this before I only have this picture to base it off of but I was like you know what I'm gonna do it and I did now some questions all of those tiny squares I had the song together was that worth it no and on top of that when the client got it, they tried it on and one of the daisies like popped off, you know? So they were able to resew it, you know what I'm saying? Everything was good and dandy. They were still able to wear it, you know? But I think for that reason there, I have to put it in the was it worth it. Oh, okay, so this was a set that I'd made for Black Convocation. I think right here, it's very obvious where this is going. This is definitely in the iconic realm. I actually did this based off of Itsumeme Adeko, which if you don't watch her YouTube channel, what are you doing for her birthday, you know, uh, that August in 2020, I believe, she wore like this white wrap kind of fit and it was given. Okay, it was given. And so I recreated it, but I put my own spin on it. And again, that's something I'm really proud of because I saw a picture, you know, I was able to mimic it, add my own flair. Like if you look at the neck, I have like gold circles. I was crocheting circles. Like what, I was on something with this. Now this next one I did for a customer. Again, they showed me a picture, something that they wanted, and I tried to recreate it. The picture they showed me was knit. I was proud that I was able to like do it in like a crochet kind of form and like you look at it and it's cute and stuff but I still have to put it in pasta without the sauce okay just because I would add a bit more flair if I was able to do it today um, and it's just not given what I wanted to give you know what I'm saying kudos to the two ponytails though kudos okay so this next one is a crochet granny square dress you won't even believe how many granny squares i had to crochet it was hundreds of them hundreds of those 
granny squares. I could not put up with it. I could not put up with it. You know, I think it took me over a year to complete or just about a year because I made all of the granny squares. Somehow I found the patience and stamina to make all the granny squares. And then all of a sudden I was like, you know what? It's almost the end of the year. Let's just finish it out. Let's just do it. And so I had to sew them all together. And that was the worst part. Like, yeah, I think part of me, I can deal with showing all of the squares. But if you tell me that I need to so um, that's where you lose me. So for that reason, this one's going in that I should have quit. I don't think it's something I would make again. Or if it was something I would make again, you'd have to pay me thousands of dollars to do it. I can't make it again for free. I can't. Mm -mm. Nope, not doing it. And if you were in the crochet community around that time, the patchwork was in, okay? Patchwork was very, very popular. And I, of course, had to hop on that mother freaking bam wagon and make me a patchwork cardigan now the one you see here isn't the first one i made it's actually one of the last ones that i made but i actually ended up making a lot of them and uh you'll see the variations here like this project takes forever it literally takes forever it's cute as heck and it's always gonna be unique and original and I loved you know being able to have like you know different colors for the patchwork and then being able to customize the ribbing so I'm gonna put this in a was it worth it though tab but let me know if y'all want me to do a tutorial you know because I think it's one of those projects where it's like I can't really do it myself unless I'm really getting paid for it but I think that everybody should have one of their own and I think that if you learn to make it I think that's the key so let me know if y'all want to see a tutorial on the patchwork cardigans my version of it um and I'll show you how to make it in different sizes as well Christmas time Christmas time Christmas time so I was going for Mrs. Claus I was going for you know Mrs. Claus with a little to her you know a little extra sass to her and that's when I came up with this gorgeous dress uh already I mean not much thinking to do it's definitely an iconic look for sure if somebody was casting for a black um sassy fashionista Mrs. Claus she would win she would get that role and then I also, you know, with my extra self, I decided to do a bit more, you know, um, Christmas outfits. I made these tube tops for me and my sisters. I think that's a peppermint. I had a snowflake and I made, what is that, a present? I think I made like a, a, a gift wrap. And, you know, functionally, they didn't really work, you know. I feel like me personally, I don't even like tube tops because I feel like I can never get it to sit up correctly. But they were quick projects. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put this in the most improved award. Okay, we only got a few more. You know, I'm kind of torn whether I should put this in iconic or still absurd because it was definitely like very, very, very popular when I put it out there. But you know, it had some functionality issues. You know, like I, I really struggled to make the jacket and I didn't really make the jacket properly. Again, this was in the beginning of my journey. I wasn't making a lot of jackets or cardigans or anything. And so there were a lot of things that I could have done better. But like the look, you know, like look at that pose. Look at the boots. Look at the styling. I'm going to put this in still a serve. No, I'm going to put this in iconic. And the reason I'm going to put this in iconic is because I didn't see anybody making this when I was doing it. And so I'm going to put this in iconic just for that because I, I, I was creating waves. Okay, this is not a wave that I hopped on. This was something I genuinely created that I did not see before. I know I'm seeing a lot of ruffle bucket hats, but I did not see it when I did it. I really did it. And so for that, I have to give myself kudos. I have to. I have to. You know, this one, this one was cute. You know what I'm saying? It was a whole thing. You can't see it in this particular picture. I had these long thigh high socks. This piece did not take long for me to do at all. And you know, it's something that I'm still kind of, I'm still very proud of. And I feel like it is a sort of piece where you can wear around the house. So I'm going to put this in the still a serve. You know, it's not in the iconic mode, especially like what was I thinking with the way I took the picture? You know, I was trying to be creative, but looking back, I should have just kept it simple. Now there's a background story behind this 
piece actually. This piece, the dress specifically, I'd made it for a contest that I was entering. Grownish, the TV show that's on Hulu, was doing this competition for fashion designers and stylists where you know you submitted two pieces of work choosing uh, two characters from the show that you wanted to have your pieces on. The dress was one of the pieces and this was the dress that I wanted to be on Zoe, Yara Shahidi's character. And I submitted it and I, I, I did it. I, I, I put all my focus and energy on it even though I was really busy at the time and my sister helped me with all of the sketches and I was really proud of the final product and I read the rules over and over again but then you know I didn't see it upload on the portal like after you submit it they review it and they upload it on the portal for everyone to see and mine never uploaded in the portal so I, I I was reaching out to people and nobody was responding so you know my sister goes to Harvard and at the time, Yar Shahidi also went to hold it. And so she happened to have Yar Shahidi's email. I stayed met and told at one point. I know, slight facts, slight facts. And so I ended up emailing her and she, you know, loved my designs. You know, I thought I was a bag and she was reaching out to the people of the team. And you know, because it's Yar Shahidi, they actually responded. Turns out I was disqualified because I didn't follow the rules or something like that. I, I you know, but that's the thing about rules. It's all up into, until, interpretation and it, I, it, it wasn't clear you know and that's what I mean it's like I try to be creative and it bites me in the butt that was not an iconic moment so this is still a serve so this next one already already iconic iconic and the reason why this goes into iconic was um the belt really and it was me just doing something different it was me taking something that I'd seen and just making it my own and I feel like that's something I'm really good at doing like I'm really good at seeing things and being like oop boom let me do it my way y'all I know I didn't think it would take this long like I'm really you know talking talking right now trying to get through these pieces we're almost there so this next one is another set this looks amazing it looks amazing. I love the yarn that I used. I love the color, like it was popping on my skin. Some people came for me for wearing the blue lipstick, but you know what? I would do it again over and over and over and over and over and over and over. But what you probably don't know and don't see is that I did not make the top correctly at all. So I think for this, I might have been following a pattern slightly, like a pattern for like inspiration, but not fully. And it was like one of those raglan ones where you build it from the top like this. Another technique that I have not mastered. I don't have to do it at all. I haven't done it often and I don't know how the measuring works. So the top is really big. And so it's not an iconic piece because it's cute, but it doesn't rank up there with the iconic ones that I have up there. I can't say it's still a sub, right? Because I can't wear it. And then was it worth it though? Well, I guess, I guess it, it might not have been worth it because I can't wear it. So I did all of that and it doesn't fit. So I think, I think that's where it has to go. And then finally, you know, this next one I'm gonna put in, we're eeny meeny miny mo, catch a tiger by its toe. If it lands, I'm putting it in the pasta without uh, the sauce top. Um, and that's s simply because why, why did I post it with all of that extraness? It's not even good graphic design, but my hair was cute. Okay, so this concludes this long-winded video that I didn't expect to be as long-winded as it was. Thank you for getting to the end. This is my first video that I'm posting for 2023. Please let me know uh, what other like ideas and videos you want to see from me. I do want to come out with some tutorials this year. Again, I am not a, a tutorial channel. Do not be here if you're just looking for tutorials but I would very much like to post a couple of tutorials. So if there's something that you would like to learn how to make, let me know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, your support means the world. I am on the roadmap to trying to get to a thousand followers. We're almost there. So please help me meet that goal. Until next time, take care. Bye. Be great on a new